today we are here with our hospital bag video so i did do it in another video before was it not, not the last one the last video before this on baby's hospital bag and a lot of you were asking to see what's in my hospital bag and i've actually done a little hospital bag for hubby as well because i think he needs one and makes you feel special doesn't it <laughs> so he's got a hospital bag as well so today we're just going to show you what's in here have a little bit of a catch up yes they choose we're in little baby boy's nursery room i'm not sure if you guys can tell yeah you probably wouldn't but, I mean, it's like a different scenery yeah isn't it? different scenery we wanted different scenery and yeah. also we just love being in his room he spent so much time here even feel. though he's not here yet well inshallah he will be inshallah well, let us know in the comments if you want a nursery room tour yeah um we wasn't going to do one but if you do want one then do drop a comment down and we will do a nursery room tour I mean, I'm so excited because we have not got long left, literally. Like, what is it now? So close, man. Julie's in. Babe, you're basically cool. 38 weeks in a few days. 38 weeks in a few days. In three days, days you're 38 weeks. Oh Deep God. that. It feels so surreal. And then so baby surreal. can come anytime now. Oh, my. Anyways. Let's start so, off with my hospital bag. So, when I say mine, is basically Ebony's hospital bag because she's been forcing me to pack <laughs> some sort of bag. I'm a pretty chill guy, you know. I'm a relaxed type of dude. So, and she's like, I feel like she wants only, to be organized. Yeah, I feel like it's the only bag for you to have. Not that you need anything because yeah, you can just go here and you just get anything. But you know, yeah. just to be organized. It's good to organize. So, guys, this is my hospital bag. I actually got this literally. I think it was two days before our wedding. It's just a nice yeah. machino bag. But this is what I'm going to be using. And let me tell you what I've got in my good no, no, bag. No, 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 no. Can I can I do this part? Yeah, of course. So to start off with, we have a charger. You know, Ebony, if she wants to obviously be on a phone, relax and stuff, she she's gonna need to have a phone charge. I think we're both going to need a phone charger. Yeah, but it's for you, babe. <laughs> this is about you, you know? We're trying to create a relaxed environment. And then, obviously, we've got um, clothes. So I've just packed myself a nice, big, grey sweatshirt. There we go. A nice, massive, oversized one. I will, what's it called, fold it up or Ebony can help me with that <laughs> after. I've just packed an oversized blue T-shirt that I wore on holiday it's from zara and then another spare t-shirt these are all blue and i'm wearing blue <laughs> guys you can tell i like blue and then obviously i've got some boxes in here but i'm not going to show you them <laughs> and i've got um oh gosh, i've got a, what's it called might be face like a face cloth a thing get i think and freshened up I think this will come in handy. I'm not sure why. See, I might even need that. You know, like um, she's I'm already like, stealing my stuff. If I'm like really hot, you put it under the cold tap oh, and cold put tap. it on my head. So yeah, forget what we just said. This is for Ebony. Yeah. This is a cloth to basically keep a temperature. You know, she's a queen. We need to keep a temperature cooled. So we're gonna be doing a bit of this, bit of that, bit of this. <laughs> keep it all nice and fresh. <laughs> so I actually. I don't know why this is in here. Why is that in there? <laughs> what have you this, got that in there for? This is to... Uh, I'm sure this is for my car. But Why have you got... Why have you got... That in this there? is for my car, but maybe <laughs> I can use it to, like, wash your belly or, like, your face. What? No! <laughs> but, no, we don't need this, so this is going down here. And then... Obviously, you know, we need a bit of sure spray you know we have to keep nice and fresh for the wife you know have to keep nice and keen and then i've got a highlighter i'm not sure why oh my god but i've got a highlighter <laughs> this will come in handy i'm not sure yet but it's gonna come in handy and then ha 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 i've got a jean paul i don't know i, can't, I forgot which one it is but this is one of my favourite perfumes. Ebony got me this. Jean Paul. Yeah, I really like that one. It's really nice. It's really nice. In fact, you know, let me do a bit of... <laughs> okay. Yes. And then... We got a... What's it called? Uh, Polaroid. A Polaroid. 
We've got a Polo Polaroid, Polaroid camera, camera, which I gifted her when I proposed to her. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically to capture the moment. And we're going to take a picture of you. Psych, we're not going to do that because filming Literally. is expensive. Yeah, <laughs> the only other thing that I don't have in my bag, which I might as well start packing, is Eb's goodie bag. Snacks. So oh, what have you got in there, babe? Show me my bag one by one. Sweet chili, these are like things what are called the actual ones. They're like the sun bites, but I wanted to yeah. focus on It's Audi versions of sun bites. Yeah. So if you don't know about these, go find out. And then I've got some rice cakes. Yeah. With yogurt flavoured cake. I'm just not chocolate one. No, this is it's basically rice cakes with white chocolate flavoured coating. And then we've got some fizzy pineapple gummy candies. These are the time ones that they are allowed. And Vegan then, pineapple, whatever it's called. Loads more of the sweets. Yeah. You know why not? And then we've got some Pringles. <laughs> they're not Pringles. They are no. Aldi version of oh, Pringles. Oh, they're not. Really? Yeah, really? It's why it's called Pringles. Because it's Aldi. They copy. Really? But Aldi saves your money, so buy for less. And then is that it? Yeah. That's but I think we need this bag as well. For a bit. You know, you should. No, babe. You need what? this bag just in case. Oh. I don't know what you'll need it for. You know, I don't know, dirty clothes, you don't know what. So I'll keep this in here. So basically, guys, that's my bag done, but the only things that I need to put in there are, I would say, socks. Mm -hmm. Why am I acting no, like I'm no, going to be no, on no, a I've, holiday I've trip? I've packed socks. Yeah. yeah I've packed some mine. The main purpose of my bag, or shall I say Ebony's second bag, <laughs> is to get all of the items that Ebony don't want her in her main bag and in my bag but I need to be really organised because if she wants like any type of snack I'm going to be like No but it's also nice like just in case you yeah. feel refreshed you know what I mean because you don't know how long we're going to be in there how long the labour's going to take how Do we need a towel? Going. I've got a towel and okay. all of that so Yeah but if you've got one do I need one? I don't think you need to know Oh the boys not show? <laughs> I don't think they show there I don't need a towel. I don't know. If you, if you guys know no, this, I'm not sure. Do the men shower? The, or do not get like a private shower room for the no, boys. They love. <laughs> no. I don't care. As long as, you not, as long as my wife's getting looked get after home, well, and that's fine. I don't care. So guys, I forgot one last thing. I've got a book. I'm going to take a book out of this. For my baby boy. I'm not sure which one, but and it's just a reading read book. And I'm going to read to him. So now we're gonna go into my hospital bag. Ebony's hospital, my hospital bag. My hospital bag is massive. So a lot of people were commenting on the last video, like we want to see what's in your yeah. hospital bag. And a lot of people were saying things that I had uh, missed out. Baby's hospital bag, what's actually mine? Yeah. So, so we're, we're gonna get, we're going to go through Ebony's hospital bag, and these hospital bag. this has got all her essential yeah, items. So let's so do you see. Do you want to show how big the hospital bag is? What you I'm want me to pick it up? So I'm taking a mini suitcase. A little one. A mini suit. <laughs> <laughs> suitcase. I just want to come prepared. I want to have, make sure that I've got everything. Yeah. So then like, do you know what I mean? I feel like I've just got everything there. So where shall I start? You start off. However I, mean, like, I don't know how to start. This looks like a mission to me. Yeah, okay. So, firstly, we've got some slippers. I've got you these. Yeah, you got me these. Some Plus, nice, fluffy They're so comfy. Slippers. I think we got. I got them from John Lewis. John Lewis. I just think you need yeah. slippers. And Ebony doesn't have massive feet. These are just big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they've got grippers on the bottom as well, so they will keep me comfy and warm in the hospital. I've also got. I, I'll go for my clothes first. So I've got two nighties. Is this what you'll be wearing when you give labour? Yeah. What I will wear when I give. Well, when we give when labor. in labor, when I'm, yeah. when I give, when I'm in labor. So, so two night dresses. Yeah. And I bought two of these. These were actually just from Asda, I think. Yeah, Asda. And they're quite reasonably priced as well. So yeah, they were. They were. I think they were like £10 for two. £10 so. for two. And everywhere else we went was like £25 for one. Yeah. So they're really good. I'm really spacious as well. So I'll just feel like free. And just comfy. Yeah. I've also brought a pair of pajamas as well. These are from. You're gonna look from, nice in them. 
And these are really nice. These are from Pretty Little You're Thing. You're not taking my compliment. Thank you, my darling. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Guys, I'm hurt. These are in the maternity section. But I just thought these would be really comfy. Yeah, and so if I, Yeah, if I need to walk around hospital, and obviously I want to be covered up, um, then why are we? Why these. do we have so much blue? I, I want right. I wanted to go for dark colors because obviously after or words or whatever, I want to like whatever blood and everything like that. I don't want it. You know what I mean. So I think dark colors. Matching my I feel, Yeah, it looks nice. I feel I feel more comfortable in dark colors. I've also packed two nursing bras. So I packed like a quite soft, soft non-wide yeah. one. And then, well, actually, they're both non wide, but one's padded and one's not. Um, both black, again. And then we've got my very, very large underwear. Because, you know, yeah. you, need to, you need to be comfy. You just give yeah. a birth and you want to be comfy. So, and also, I've gone for black in those. You don't really need to see those guys because they're just like yeah. <laughs> So, we've also got a going home outfit. I've just got some. So I, I was, I didn't know like how fast my tummy was going to go down or anything like that. So I just packed um, some maternity leggings and an oversized jumper. Yeah. So there's nothing special about them. They're just plain black. Again, black because I feel more comfortable in black. And I just, you know, any leakage going on, we're covered because <laughs> it's black. Don't worry, I've got you. <laughs> i got you. So that, you can't forget the socks. We need socks. And I've packed some... Nappies. <laughs> Not nappies. I don't know. Oh, dis adult disposable. No, disposable. Disposable. Adult. Adult diapers. Do American Amer Americans watch this? Do they not knickers? Do they call it knickers? Americans do call it knickers. We oh, call do it pants. Oh, so why do we call it knickers then? As well. Do we? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Pants, but they are pants. Disposable yeah. pants. Women's pants. So yeah, um, got these. Well, yeah, these are really good because you can wear them and then throw them away. Yeah. So obviously after birth, there's going to be a lot yeah. of... Yeah. They say after like, especially after the first few hours slash day, obviously the woman's body's gone through so much, then downstairs, yeah. obviously, it's going to be a bit messy. Yeah, so they're good. I mean, I've never tried it before, but we'll see. <laughs> What do you mean they're we'll good? We'll see, we'll see how they work out yeah i've also got some shall i do this side yeah i'm gonna open the side okay gives me something to do yeah so you talk about them i'll show them so what are these these are maternity towels maternity pads maternity towels same post, thing. it says for pre and post pregnancy yeah so i've got those From i've literally boots. packed like 20 because i don't know how long i'm gonna be there well whatever. if you've got the space you might as yeah, well i think the hospital do provide them as well but i just wanted to bring that in just think. also got some cotton pads so these are actually for baby as well just to wipe him down and stuff like that i was meant to pack them in his bag but again his bag's a bit too small so i just put them in I mind. wish i could sign language <laughs> because, yeah um because what you don't trust me Oh, no, we can put it in your bag if you want to be my guest, love. Really, this I feel is like going in my in bag. bag You've got too much stuff. Yeah, I've got too much stuff. Right, so we're yeah. going to pack his Aptimil yeah. breast milk substi substitute with our new unique blend of ingredients. Mm -hmm. So actually, I think I've always told you guys I do plan on breastfeeding, but this is a backup. And I did want to do half and half, like yeah. I've got a free half breastfeeding. So and inshallah, you know, my wife's breastfeeding journey will be easy. Inshallah, so please make dua make for dua her, for guys. guys. Honestly, just make dua for her. If you're right there now, just drop a comment and make please dua do. for my beautiful wife. I'm just hoping inshallah everything goes well. Inshallah, it will. Inshallah. Positive, positive. Yeah, that's just what we positivity like. around us right now. Yeah. We're not thinking about anything no. bad. A breast pump. I actually need to sterilise this actually yeah. before. Yeah, well, she's heard yeah. a lot of good, good things, about, things about this one. It's from Hakkar. I'm not sure if you can see that, yeah. but you can pick it up from Amazon mm -hmm. or Boots. You can actually get electrical breast pumps, but I thought I'd give yeah. the manual one a try first and see how I get along with that. I've also got some breast milk storage bags. 
I don't need obviously all of the whole packet, but she's got she's bought yeah. fifty. You never know, you could produce a lot. Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, <laughs> Inshallah, you never know. I mean, it will be like really good. Inshallah. And apparently, like if it comes before as well, you can store store them in the fridge. That's um cholesterol, cholesterol. cholesterol. Yeah, but the baby can have that, can he not? Yeah, but you can get the little syringes to put it in and then put it in the fridge. Oh, freezer. okay. Yeah. So yeah. Two um, fluffy socks to keep my feet warm because. Apparently, when women are giving birth, yeah. um, their feet get really cold. And to be honest, my feet yeah, but that makes cold sense anyway. because of all the blood that's going to yeah. the belly slash going to the upper body. Your body's going through a lot, yeah. And your poor little feet can get a little bit cold because the blood's like, not rushing down yeah. there. And I like to wear socks anywhere. I like to be warm. Eb's feet are always cold, so big fluffy socks, big, fluffy socks. are a must. So we're gonna be bringing those with us. We've got some breast pads as well because. Oh, know, I thought there was cotton buds. Did ya? Okay. <laughs> Guys, we've also got some breast some pads. Breast pads. What Ebony has. Yeah. Because you know. You know what I. <laughs> you know, not, it can obviously like leak and stuff after, so. Yeah. Gotta be prepared. We've got a peri bottle as well, so let me show you. Guys. I had no idea what a peri bottle peri bottle is. When Ebony talk, like first a, told me, like I know you, what I'm that. saying, when you first told me, when you first told me, I thought like a peri bottle, because she said peri, I thought maybe it was like for sauce or something Just like that, that, because the, the hospital don't have any sauce. This is a peri bottle. <laughs> it's like a toy. Down there and stuff like that. Um, so obviously down there would have been through a lot. Yeah. And it's nice to keep everything fresh. You put like butch hose and stuff in there to help the healing process. Oh, so you put water in here. Like water. And then you water. spray it. Which is actually it's quite good. Like you can actually use it as a fan. <laughs> Thanks, Lo. So yeah, we've got this. We've got that, and I think I might put some uh, witch hazel or something in aloe vera yeah. or whatever as well. Whatever. Aloe vera will be good. Aloe vera will help the cooling sensation. Yeah. Do you want me to put this in my bag just in case we forgot a fan? We need to get a fan. <laughs> but I don't mind using that as a fan. I love really. Why? Not? I think, I think we'll get a proper fan, guys. Inshallah. Babes, what if it comes tomorrow? Then we're using that as a fan. Oh my god, what if it does come tomorrow? <laughs> oh my god. So, guys, yeah, we've got a towel as well. It's blue again. Blue. I do want. We're clearly blue right everywhere. now. There's blue everywhere. And yeah. yeah. If you've seen the nursery room, you'll probably get a vibe. But yeah. if you want to see it, you know, just drop a comment. Follow me. There's a lot of blue. So again, I went for a dark colour because you know it's just it's just better. We don't want the light colours here, but you know what's going to be going on. So yeah, I've all got my toiletry bag. Can I do this last one? Big toiletry bag. So we've got a toiletry bag. And Ebony will explain to you what's in the bag. Oh yeah. So what have we got? We've got in here. I'm actually going to take you guys through what we've got in here. We've got so much stuff in here. This is like all my. You pass them to me, and then I will show them. Okay. Or shall I get them out, and then you talk about them? Okay. So number one. Cream Vaseline cream. What flavour is it? Aloe. Aloe smooth. smooth. So we've obviously got cream to keep moisturised. We've got. Got some Jojen, some roll on. To keep you not being smelly. <laughs> yeah. From Vaseline because I've heard that yeah, when you're sucking on that gas in there, your lips can get so, so dry. Yeah, that's a good shirt. I need so, that as well then. <laughs> so we need that. What is this? Um, oh yeah, some nipple cream because they can get so much. Is this a specific brand that you need to get or what? Um, I've heard good things about this brand. That's the same brand as the breast. Oh, cream. okay. So it just says HPA. I don't know mm. what it is. Yeah. Oh, look how small some this is. Some for little babas. This is a travel <laughs> size. A travel size oh. pseudocrem. You all it's know what pseudocrem is for. We'll need it, but yeah. Two pushes for me and Bay. Can I have one now? keep that mouth fresh. We have got a toothbrush though. What do you need? I love fresh toothbrushes. And obviously we've got some toothpaste as well. Toothpaste. This and is a good then... one. Some hand sanitizer. Even though you've got the hospital one, sometimes that can make your yeah. hand a bit dry. But this is going to be on also, like we'll yeah. go to it all the time. It's just about, you know, if Baba just came fresh out of the room, we didn't want. You took paracetamol um, as if the hospital yeah. won't give I'm you the pain. Yeah, yeah, but say you put in the car or, yeah. I don't know, something like that, and I need paracetamol because 
I just need it, then there yeah. you go, I have it. Or if they're taking too long in hospital to come bring my medicate, like paracetamol to me, then got it. Yeah. Um, mouthwash again. It's actually a pretty organised toilet tube bag. Organised, love. Very organised. Look at this as well. So, um, wash. This is a travel sized one. Travel size, uh, yeah. Dove, just shower job. Yeah, and I've got my scrunchie. Wash up. Mm-hmm. And some face wipes. <laughs> some face wipes to keep myself fresh. You never know, I could, I don't know when I'm going to go soon, but I'm yeah. walking a break. I'm probably going to have make a little bit of that make a pond or whatever. But I'm going to feel fresh. I'm going to want to feel fresh. I talk so fast, guys. I'm so sorry. And, you know, I might be sweating. I'm just going to want to... Just to keep that. on top of it, really. Yeah. But, yeah, that's everything that in your everything. hospital bag, babe. Guys, you need to let me know, again, if I've missed anything out. Please let me know. I, I did um, add a few more bits into baby's hospital bag. For example, I added him another vest, I think. So yeah. Up two, but I've took, taken three now. So thank you guys mm -hmm. for all your, like, shout-outs yeah. and all your opinions. We have actually, like, it does help a lot. It does help. Because we're also, both first-time yeah. parents. So we're new to this and it's a journey. It is. Well, I'm glad we're starting this journey together. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy. But ready. We're ready to go now. <sighs> guys, when do you think the baby will come? Yeah, when do you oh, So, yeah, everyone drop a comment down below and guess when the baby will come, yeah, inshallah. inshallah. So, I've guessed the 4th of February, 4th of Feb, initially. So, what are we on now? What's the date now? I still feel like it can come on the 4th of Feb. So, the due date is either the 14th or the 15th. She's had two different due dates. Mm -hmm. It's but, so weird. Yeah, we feel like, I feel like the baby's going to come on the 4th of Feb. What about you? Next week. Next that week, is when? The, that is going to be 4th of Feb next week, isn't it? Yeah, but what day do you think it's going to come? Maybe around then. A lot oh, of people she just think, wants to copy no, me. No, I don't. I literally don't know. But I, we do think um, I'm in the early stages of yeah. early, 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 early. Like, because these, like, Braxton has contractions. So she has been getting a lot of early labour sign, guys. You know... She's had a lot of contractions, but quite spaced out yeah. Spaced out in terms of like 30 to one hour. Yeah. And they'll be frequent and then they'll stop They're for a while. Frequent, aren't they? She's had Braxton Hicks. She goes to the toilet. A lot. Yeah. That's normal anyway, but it's literally so much. She goes to a toilet so much at night. Mm. She can't sleep. The pressure. Yeah. Everything. Just a lot of pressure. Like my, my tummy has dropped a lot as well, hasn't it? And then literally like her back, lower back pain. I've researched Again, all like, these the labour signs, so I am clued yeah. up. She's had a lot of period signs and the list goes on. What else? Um, and obviously like, it's not nice to obviously talk about, but you know, going to the toilet for that, for number two. It's normal, guys. It's normal. Yeah, but no, pregnant, A lot of pregnant women, I don't even care, it's normal. A lot of pregnant women do get constipated and stuff like that. Yeah. But do you know when it starts to cut, when you start to get unconstipated and it starts to come more, it's a sign of early labour because your body's yeah. emptying, getting ready to have Emptying out of bowels to out create more space for the baby to come out. Yeah. And what else? Oh, the baby does not have any space and he's literally dropped so low. Mm -hmm. So we both think his head's engaged. On our last scan, his head was engaged. Yeah. <sighs> And then obviously another one, she's had lightning crotch. So you girls oh all know God. about this, guys. I know for a fact you don't know what lightning crotch is because I didn't know what it was. But um, it's just That's a massive pain, pain down there. Down but there. it's literally yeah. crazy. Well, I don't know. I don't know because what it feels like. Because his head's so low and he's like lying on nerves and stuff Ebbs like that. Ebbs has told me how it feels and it sounds mm. crazy. And what else? What other symptoms? Um, I don't know. But don't yeah, know there's what. so many early labour signs and she's been feeling... A, quite uh, nauseous, nauseous again, again, again so yeah so that actually disappeared for Bless a while her. and now all of a sudden it's like cool yeah but mashallah my wife stayed so strong throughout this whole pregnancy and you know <laughs> may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her an easy labor and may um, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her a fast labor and um, allow baby boy to be born healthy inshallah. but guys thanks for watching this Thank video you so much for watching stay tuned you never yeah. know the next one could be here yeah literally we honestly don't know when he's going to come mm -hmm. and we're just going to take it as it as it comes we love doing this youtube video because in a way it's like memories for us imagine like yeah. we're going to be 40 and we can watch we can all these videos back. and look back at this moment like sitting in this room where we are now and looking at it 20 years from now
that's why we like to do these youtube videos but yeah keep following us keep subscribe and Stay turn tuned. your post notifications yeah. on and remember to drop down in the comments yeah. when you think baby will arrive it helps our page grow so we appreciate it Bye. all right love my people